Hi, this is Suzanne Long, Professor of Accounting at Jackson College. Our next step and our focus for this video is posting adjusting journal entries. So we're going to take adjusting entries to the next stage, to the next spot. So what we have so far is we have completed adjusting journal entries and we have a ledger that's completed before adjusting journal entries and we're going to add in the adjusting entries here. We're going to have new adjusted balances and then those adjusted balances are going to go over here. I'm going to make two quick additions. Hold on one second. Okay, what I, what I want to add is the accounting cycle right here. So I want to just look at the accounting cycle for a minute. So as, as we've been working, uh, you know, we started here with just a transaction and we did the journal entry, like paid $1,000 for rent, debit rent expense, $1,000, credit cash for $1,000. And then we took that journal entry and we posted it. So we went to the rent expense account and we put that $1,000 in as a debit and we went to the cash account and we put that cash credit in for $1,000. Then we got totals and we did the unadjusted trial balance. So we've been through that and we've started here. We've got the adjusting entries and now we're going to post. We're going to post the adjusting entries and take us through the adjusted trial balance. So there's really kind of like three, um, three cycles within the cycle. There's from step one to step four with the unadjusted trial balance. And then there's step five and six to get to the adjusted trial balance. And then the next step is going to be taking us through to the post-closing trial balance. So when you get to um, a trial balance, that's a place to stop. So we're working our way through the accounting cycle. All right, so we're going to post. We're going to be posting these journal entries over here into our semi-completed ledger over here. Yeah, that fits a little better. So remember, these are my homemade files and sometimes sometimes there's things I want to fuss around with a little bit. You know, just change it up a bit. Alright, let's take a look at the first one. Insurance expense and prepaid for 100 Okay, so we need to find insurance expense. That's going to be one of these yellow guys. Insurance expense for, was it 600 I can't remember. 100 Insurance expense prepaid 100 Okay, so 100 here, and we're going to have 100 up in prepaid. Let me get those in before I forget the amount again. And the date is adjusting entry date, so it's the end of the month. And generally we say this is coming from J2. Oh, this should say J2 too. Page 2 for adjusting journal entries. Page 1 for the regular journal entries page 2 for the adjusting journal entries. So here we're going to have a J2 to go with that J2. So that's telling us where did this amount come from. And then I want to update my balance. So this one's going down a little bit. And you might recall this one. This was the insurance where we had a whole year and we were changing it to um, you know, we've got one month that was used up, so now we've got 11 months left. So posting in that adjusting entry, I've got a date coming from J2, the journal for the adjusting entries, credit, credit from that journal entry, and then adjust, correct, finish that ending balance. Still a debit. Assets, we're looking for debits right here. I think I already fixed that somewhere along the way. Why doesn't that show up? And then down here, insurance expense, I need to finish that line off. Where is my insurance expense? Here we go. So I've got end of the month. And I've got J2. And now I have a balance here. Now I have 100 bucks here. So the blue is coming from, um, I used this setup for a, a problem, and I had students completing in blue. So looks like we're going to see some blue, and I'll be... Uh, flipping it to black. This, this file is going to be all black. Okay, so these two are done. I'm going to check those off. 
you could just have little check marks there in um, in black. I'm going to use red just so it sticks out a little bit so I see it a little bit better. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Unearned service revenue, 450. Unearned, 450. Service revenue, 450. Okay, let's get the, the rest of it in there. Here's the date. J2. And we're going up again. Still a credit. And I'll go ahead and make that all black, clean that up. And up here to unearned. Date. J2. And a new balance. Oh yeah, remember this one? That's going down. So some of this, uh, you might be like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember thinking through some of this before when we were working on adjusting entries. That's good. That's good if you're thinking that. Okay, so we got those two in there. Um, something else just occurred to me that's specific to this textbook, and that's that when you put in um, an adjusting entry, they're gonna, um, you're gonna see a display here of adjusting entries. So, like right here for unearned, right here. There we go. You're gonna see that kind of thing. Adjusting entry. Adjusting entry. Um, and I'm gonna need that up here too. Prepaid. Adjusting entry and down here insurance expense. Adjusting entry. So for the most part, this description column is left blank. Um, what you will see in the AME textbook anyways, that presentation is you'll see adjusting entry and closing entry when we've got an adjusting entry or closing entry. Otherwise, blank. It's there, you know, as a highlight. If you see something in the description column and you're like, whoa, what's going on? Otherwise, these are normal transactions. Go back to your journal page to see what's going on. All right, let's get the third one in. Interest expense, interest payable, 25. Interest expense. I'm just going to stay down here for a minute. Copy and paste wherever you can. Oh, I could have done this too. So there's my interest expense on the debit side. And now I need some interest payable on the credit side. So this is adjusting entry stuff. I'm right here on this line. And I want this all to be black. So date, adjusting entry, J2, credit, credit, yep, 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 yep. So that takes care of, oop, wrong spot, there we go. That takes care of this adjusting entry, getting that one posted in. All right, moving on to depreciation, 100. Okay, here's depreciation, 100. Let's get our date adjusting entry, J2. Let's get that in there. And let's get the new balance in there. And yep, you got to fill in that DRCR over there. Yeah, um, students do sometimes lose points for that by not um, filling in the DRCR. Yep, you want to make sure that's in there. And then accumulated depreciation. Here we go. And I want the same adjusting entry stuff right there. And ending balance. And good. Get that all black. Excellent. Something changed here. I hit a. I hit something up here. Okay. So that takes care of that one. And our last one: accounts receivable, service revenue, nine hundred. Accounts receivable. Adjusting entry information. And let's see. So we got a debit and another debit. So right here, we're going to have this balance plus more debit equals a bigger debit. And get that all black. Looking good. Yep, I remember that. 5550 and the 5500. Yep, I remember that. And down here, revenue. Uh-huh. Some of that. 
and oh my gosh, I can't remember the amount. 900. 900, and I'm adding. So I got credit plus more credit equals bigger credit. Okay, so that one's in there. So we are done posting. Remember that posting is copying. Copying the exact information from your journal entry format into your account format in the general ledger. It's exactly the same information, just in a different format, like reshuffling a deck of cards. Okay, so we're good with that. Notice up here in the directions anyways, part B was prepare the journal entries. Okay, that's this part. Uh, and post them to the ledger. That's this part. So we just did the posting. Fabulous. Now I added a Part C adjusted trial balance because sometimes you're going to need an adjusted trial balance that's all by itself. As opposed to, let me go back to what we were working on before, as opposed to a worksheet. So a worksheet looks like that. An unadjusted trial balance looks like that. What we're doing right now is an adjusted trial balance. A standalone separate report adjusted trial balance. So we want to know what's the ending balance in cash. And we're going to use a cell reference equals click. What's the ending balance? The ending adjusted balance in accounts receivable equals enter equals click enter and prepaid and equipment and off we go. So I'm just going to enter these in. I'm working my way down and then we'll do our auto sums and check it out make sure we're good to go. Interest payable, yep. unearned, mm -hmm. note payable, Capital hasn't changed yet, it won't change until we get to closing. Withdrawals, don't forget you got to bounce back over to the debit side. Withdrawals, service revenue, credit side, mm -hmm. and, and then finishing off with expenses. I got to check my order, I'm not sure if my order is the same. Advertising, rent. Yep, different order. Insurance. Interest. That was the little $25 one. And depreciation. That was $100 even. Yep. So my uh, expenses are in a different order. Does it matter? Uh, they're going to be in the order um, by account number. So let me scroll down here, down here in the yellows. So we got 500, 510. Really, this is the correct order. And what I'm noticing is this is alphabetical. So yeah, really, I should reorder this and put them in alphabetical order, and I'm not going to do that. So the expenses are all where they need to be. I'm going to leave it alone. Now totals, click where you want the auto sum, click your auto sum, click and drag, and enter. Click where you want your total, click auto sum button, click and drag where you want the total, enter. So we're good to go, 2725. And if I go back to my my work in the in the file we just did, the last video, 2725, 2725. So we're good to go with the adjusted child balance. So this file is finishing off the um, the adjustments, the adjustments process. So again, if we look at the accounting cycle we're right in here. So there's journalizing, getting those adjusting journal entries sorted out, like which accounts, increase, decrease, all that. And then there's the posting, oops, I didn't mean to do that. There's the posting and the trial balance, and that's what we're working on here. So that's it for posting finishing up the general ledger for the adjusting entries, and finishing up the adjusted trial balance. The big thing to know is that there's this stopping point. There's unadjusted before we did any of this, and now we've got journal, adjusting entries, ledger, T-accounts, accounts, 
and trial balance, adjusted trial balance. And now we stop here. This is another stopping point, and then we're going to do closing next. And closing is like the third um, section of the accounting cycle. Hey, good work today.